So medical science has focused on female reproduction difficulties, but now male concerns are coming to the forefront. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Krueger has details in her health cast. Well, scientists are finding that up to 90% of the sperm in a typical male are malformed, meaning they aren't the right shape and they're basically useless. Fertility specialist Dr. Armando Hernandez Reyes says research also shows that sperm counts have dropped dramatically in the past 75 years, greatly affecting a couple's ability to reproduce. So the big question is, why? I think it's uh, uh, from uh, cell phones in your pocket to all the volatile organic compounds that are in the air. The sperm is extremely sensitive mm -hmm. to ambient effects of, of all of these things that we're exposed to. And so uh, we're, seeing that the, we're seeing that effect now and translate into more uh, male infertility. So Dr. Ray also says that men should protect themselves by avoiding things like plastics as much as possible and eating organic fruits and vegetables to avoid all kinds of pesticides. Also in today's HealthCast, a new study finds that fewer than a third of all men really talk to their doctors about the pros and the cons of prostate cancer screening. Doctors say part of the problem stems from that government recommendation about five years ago that advised against doing the prostate-specific antigen test, also known really commonly as the PSA test. The task force argued that the testing could lead to invasive, life-altering treatments that wouldn't be necessary. Well, over 160,000 American men are diagnosed, though, with prostate cancer every year, and new treatment options have reduced the risk of lasting complications. And that's exactly why most doctors feel very strongly the patients should be aware of all of their options. So definitely talk to your doctor, guys. With your HealthCast, I'm Christy Krueger.